Hey guys, it's Kendra. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I go from straight to curly. It's about that time, it's spring. And if you guys wanna see how I do that, then just keep on watching. So the night before I did apply some coconut oil to my hair because I wanted to add a little bit of extra hydration before I went in and shampooed. Here, I'm currently detangling my hair. It's pretty much a hot mess in this state. My roots have already started reverting, reverting back and yeah, I'm just detangling it so it can be easier to manage when I start shampooing and cleansing it because it has a lot of product buildup. I've been wearing a ton of ponytails and just a lot of edge control and just a lot of crap in my hair that just needs to go. So I'm just going to rinse it first with warm, warm water, even though you guys can see steam, I promise it's warm. So here I'm just gonna rinse first just to get all of the product buildup to loosen up before I go in with shampoo. So after I'm done rinsing my hair, I'm gonna go on with some shampoo. I'm using the Maya Organics Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. This is a really nice shampoo. I love the minty feel that it gives my scalp. It feels very refreshing and my hair was in desperate need to be washed because it had been like three weeks. I know that's kind of embarrassing, but y'all know we can stretch straight, straight hair a lot longer than curly hair. So I'm just going to be massaging my scalp thoroughly and I'm gonna go in twice to wash my hair. So the first wash, I didn't get as much of a lather as I wanted, but the second wash was the lather that I was looking for. As you can see right here, it looks a lot more, you know, lathery, if that's even a word. So I'm just massaging my scalp very well, getting rid of the product buildup. I usually don't shampoo my hair in like a regular like wash and go routine, but when I'm going from straight to curly, I have to because there's just a lot of product buildup, like I said numerous times already. So again, I shampoo twice and then I just rinse the shampoo out. As you guys can see, my curls are already starting to form and you can just see progressively throughout the video that the curls get more and more defined and you're gonna see why next. So after I'm done shampooing, I'm gonna go in with a conditioner. This is the Garnier Whole Blends Legendary Olive Replenishing Conditioner. This is my favorite conditioner from the Whole Blends line. I love the olive oil one. So I'm just gonna go in thoroughly again with conditioner and I'm going to be detangling my hair with this conditioner, working it in every section, no curl left behind, and I'm going to separate my hair into two sections, parting it down the middle, and I wanna focus on one section at a time just so I can just make sure that each section gets some love with the conditioner. So this is kind of like my pre-deep conditioning step. I always like to do this before I go in with a deep conditioning mask. So I'm just going to separate each section into subsections, working from the bottom of my hair to the top. And this makes a huge difference. Like in your curls bouncing back, you need moisture and hydration. So this is more of a moisturizing conditioner. And then my hair mask that I'm going to do is more protein based. So I like a balance. So too much of one thing isn't that great for the hair. You want to make sure you balance it out. So this step is very important because it made my hair a lot more manageable and it just glided through so that my hair was ready to be deep conditioned well. <music>
So as you can see here, I'm rinsing out the conditioner and my curls are already bouncing back. They already look more hydrated and defined. So the conditioning step in the detangling process makes a huge difference. rinsing out that conditioner I'm gonna go in with a t-shirt just to wring out some of the water because I want my hair to be damp before I apply my deep conditioner it just applies better to my hair and it works better so I'm gonna again divide it into two sections and the hair mask that I'm gonna be using is the Aunt Jackie's butter fusions not your average curl bamboo and avocado protein mask I love this mask this is my favorite of all the masks that they have all of them are pretty nice, but this one just makes the biggest difference for me. So I'm going to apply that just like I applied the Garnier Whole Blends Conditioner. Two sections and give each curl some love. Just finger, finger wrecking. As you guys can see, I don't use brushes um, when I'm doing like my wash days and applying my deep conditioner and stuff. I just don't. I don't really like brushes. Um, I'll use a Demon brush sometimes to apply product more evenly, but for the most part, I just use my fingers. So that is what I'm doing here. This mask smells bomb, by the way. If you ever try it, look forward to the smell because it smells so good. So I'm just gonna make sure each section is saturated well because I am going to be deep conditioning for about an hour and a half. I lost track of time after I left this in and I did apply heat to it. If you guys wanna know what that process entails, like my deep conditioning process, I do have a deep conditioning video up that I did, I think last summer, so you guys can check that out. I still deep condition the same way. So after I'm done rinsing out my deep conditioner, of course I go in with whatever styling products I want to use and I apply those. This is what my hair looks like when it's wet after I apply my stylers. That's what I use, the Kiki Curly Line. And of course I'm an air dry girl, so my hair came out really defined. I was not surprised because Kiki Curly never fails me. And I do have a little bit of heat damage, but that tends to go away the longer that I wear my curls. So yeah, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you're bouncing back to curly hair now and if you're going to take any of these tips. And thank you guys so much for watching.